Editing multiple attribute references. We can globally edit attributes, meaning we can change any of the insertion values or instances of the block. So I can search through the entire drawing for any data and I can update it to a new value. And we can not only search for one block, we can search through multiple blocks looking for changes. So let's just an example. Let's say one of our employees changes her last name. And we just don't want to look for that in the phone block. We might want to look at it in the computer block, the phone block, you know, the desk, etc. We want to search anywhere where we find that last name and change it to a new last name. So it gives us great power to globally uh, edit attributes. We have a command for this. Uh, if we go into the insert tab, we go to the block panel, and we hit the down arrow here, we want to do a multiple edit attribute. It'll ask us, do you want to edit attributes one at a time? The answer is no. We want to help mul do multiple ones, so we're going to hit N for no. This is edit only vi attributes visible on the screen. No, we want to edit things that are invisible. So our answer is going to be no. And then it says enter the block name specification. At this point, I can enter in a name such as motor, or I could just hit enter and it'll search through all the blocks, no matter what the name of the block is. And so in this case, uh, I want to change anything with the name square D to GE. So I'm going to type in the name of motor just so I don't accidentally change something that has square D in it. And then enter the attribute tag specification. I can just say which tag I'm interested in. Maybe the horsepower or the motor number or the manufacturer or the model. And but I'll change them for all of them for this example. And then enter the value specification. If I'm just looking for certain values, I can say, oh, only the ones that have these values. And I'm going to say, no, we're going to search for everything. This is enter string to change. So I found 72 things I could change, but now what are the things that is I want to change? I'm going to go with square space D. I'm going to hit enter and it says, all right, enter the new string. And I'm going to type in GE. And I'm going to hit enter. And it said, OK, we're done. And now when I go in and click and go to my manufacturer, you'll see it's GE. Uh, I'll go to this one over here, click on this one. You'll see it's GE. And so now all of, not all of them, but all the ones that were listed before as not being G, being square D, are now, this one didn't have a value. That's okay, because it didn't have square D as a value. This one now is GE. So it updated those blocks, because I had some of these as square D. And then I think this one actually is Alan Bradley. We didn't want to change Alan Bradley. We just wanted to change the square D to GE. So we left that alone. So globally goes through and, and edits uh, multiple attribute references at one time. So to do that, you want to go up to our multiple uh, uh, attribute edit command.